Hello again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and that's a 14 by 14 inch canvas and this is my new very very modified basting brush which used to have one two three four rows across excuse me that way <laughs> and uh, I removed two rows in between every batch and I probably left more than I intend intended on it could be two and two and two and two, but instead it's two and four and four and two. So it worked the other day, so I'm going to do it again. I've got glasses on my head, and I've got sort of a plan. And that sort of a plan is a weird plan, because the canvas that I did the other day that was sort of like this, I got to tip the paint. And this time I'm not going to the, tip the paint. And I want a square in the center. And I probably should have measured in. If I really wanted a square, I probably should have measured. And I'm trying to do this without um, without tipping. But I am going to just use my Princeton Artel Catalyst spatula and try and modify the center so the paint spreads out a little bit. The one thing I am going to do that I did the other day is I'm going to try and leave a space between this layer and the next one, at least until I get my my sort of shapes and the depth of my paint color regulated. I'm really tempted to put some of my my metallic or iridescent or whatever the mar art mines, the turquoise. Actually, I think it's folk art in the center of that. This is a Bahama blue. I believe this is from Anita's. Maybe if I look at it like that and turn the turntable, I can tell. Maybe I have more than I wanted here. I'd like it to be a square. I really would. I don't know what's going to happen with this. I don't like it when, when it takes too long to set things up because I know I'm losing somebody in the audience. <laughs> Always helps. The longer you watch, the more it helps me. But that looks fairly square, I think. And I'm going to put that paint right back in there. I hope that the damp rag I left out here earlier is still damp, and it sort of kind of is. It's very late in the day. It was way too hot to work today. So last time I did this, I did black from the outside, and then I did white. So I'm going to try the white again. And uh, my temptation is basically to find my straw, which I should have found already, and blow that in. But I think instead of doing that, I'm just going to attempt to take all the weird stuff out, to spread that just enough. I've never done a square. I really want to do this square. And I know the basing brush will interrupt all that um, perfectionism, and it'll do whatever it wants to do. I don't have much space left between that and the next one. I kind of want some gold in there. It's, it's so hard to think that the gold won't, won't be of an assistance. So I'm just going to go ahead and give myself permission. I love my big bottles, especially right now when I've been tortured by smaller ones. I want that white paint not to be wasted. So I'm going to wipe off my spatula again. I'm just going to sort of pull this a little bit. into the shape I want it, hoping more of those weird things. Okay, come on here, weird thing. I don't think it needs to be perfect, or I wouldn't be trying to do it with paint pouring. I'd be doing it with something else and it would be called graphic design. It may come out kind of graphic anyway. You know what, I don't think I mind that spreading out there. No matter what, I'm going to be glad that there's GAC 800 by Golden in here. 20% to my mix because I'm pretty sure that that paint is thick enough to crack if it didn't have something in to prevent cracking and that's what the golden eight excuse me the GAC 800 from golden is for all right now how do I do this last one I need it close enough to the edge so it'll go down over and I need to be able to push it in too I don't really expect this to take an awful long time but it might be kind of messy I haven't done this before. Don't want to waste any paint. I already have something dripping over the edge. 
I can just use my finger a lot easier than I can rely on those spatulas right at this exact second to be quick because whatever I get near the edge will start to drip down over and I might even want to go ahead and use whatever's on my finger and get rid of it. I can always touch up my edges especially if they're black tomorrow. Right now I just like to have a little bit of paint on them in case this basting brush thing uh, turns out to be, whoa, that was a lot of paint. Let's use that. <laughs> I hate wasting paint. Can't help it. I know part of paint pouring is learning to allow yourself to have some fun and waste some paint, but um, it's just not in my MO very well at all. I want to tip this, but I can't because it'll destroy whatever I started with. But I can put my finger in there. Yes, I can, and I'm going to smooth some of that. Now I got a lot of paint on that edge. Good. Hello. Usually I would be using my spatula. I'm kind of having fun sticking my finger in it. <laughs> oh well. I am only a child at heart. Aren't we all just child children at heart? So I'm going to come back over here where I had a supreme excess of paint. Try to move that in. Now what I liked about the other one was that it made these organic shapes. Oh, there's the side I didn't get. Good. I have a use for all that paint on my finger. Plus I can smooth off the stuff next to it. If I don't tip too much, it won't run too far. I'm going to check my design in a minute and try and pick up any drips that are on the bottom edge. I might have to rinse my hand off. <laughs> I think I do. I'll be right back. This so far is not about cells, but that could change rapidly in a minute. I'm going to move that gold in. I don't think I need any more. I just want to have it, I think it wants to cover. It's a really hot day out here, so if this happens to be fast, that might be a really good thing. I don't want any canvas showing. And I do expect with this basting brush from the center out or the center over. Yeah, we're going over. And now I'm going to do what I was thinking about doing and using the paint that's left over there to add more paint. doesn't have to be terribly even. It's probably more interesting if it isn't. Do I want to go... Yes, I do. I want to go over here. I think some really pretty cells. Do I want to? Yeah, I do. It's just a different style geometric. Oh. I think I'm going to go right through the middle again. Because I can sort of thing. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Underneath show more. Underneath the video. Kind of wouldn't mind. I wish I had some... Uh, some metallics in there, but I think it's kind of cool. I mean, it's just very, very sort of classic, whatever it is. <laughs> Let's use the torch on it, and I will tell you my tale, which is, I have cool stuff underneath, clothing stuff underneath the video on Teespring, which you can't see Teespring, but you can see those, that clothing. If I want an extra line somewhere, my bamboo skewer will work just fine for that. Probably shouldn't get too frisky because there's nothing really wrong with what we've got. But I did have some blank spaces the other day on the other one that I did. So I'm going to steal a little paint 
and look for whatever space needs a little something something. Let's do that. These are not quite the same size. So let's even those up a little bit. I think the same goes for that. Just dipping my skewer in and having my way with it. So I do sell my artwork and I uh, do give classes at the studio in Spring Hill, Florida. And if you want to inquire about either one of those things, you're welcome to via YouTube or you can attempt to look me up on Facebook where I have four pages, four group pages. I want some gold over there, right there. And I'm going to put it right on my skewer. I also have Pinterest and Instagram down below the video. And if you want to join this month's contest by contributing to keep the studio rolling, you can do that too. Um, the video that shows this month's prizes is on the end screens of this video in the last 20 seconds. Just going to drop a little more gold where I want some and not worry too much about it. Let's see what happens when we torch. I think something might happen. We torch to release the bubbles there, bubbles caught in the paint from shaking the paint and from mixing the paint with pouring medium. be a little plainer than I envisioned, but um, it's just another one in a stage or a series on the way to whatever I, I get that I fall in love with. And uh, as far as that goes, I kind of like it. So what else? I have an Amazon link, and if you shop there, it's no added cost to you, and I just recently added another 30 items. Metallic paint colors and cool stuff. And uh, so that helps me keep offering you guys new videos all the time. I'm doing the best I can to keep it that, one or two a day. I want to tell you guys that I, there are 65,000 of you right now and I love you all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching more videos. The more you watch and through the commercials, the more likely I am to be able to afford to keep doing this because YouTube algorithm knows thumbs up and watch time. So the longer you watch or the more often you watch, more likely I am to get good video placement. That's not... Yeah, okay. I'm going to steal some paint. So this sort of kind of worked out the way I was expecting it to. And I probably shouldn't have done both the torch and then that. But at least I did it the same on both sides. But you can see that uh, it makes some really cool patterns. I like them anyway. Somebody will like them. I got fans now, thank you. Which reminds me, my book is called Because I Can. It's the first hundred videos I recorded on YouTube and all of the links and all of the methods, processes that I used. And hopefully someday I will stop long enough to take all the new material from the next hundred videos and make another book. Or maybe just take all the good stuff and make it a coffee table book. Anyway, I don't remember all the stuff I'm supposed to tell you other than I really appreciate you guys giving me a thumbs up and uh, I really want some gold, right? In all the little spaces it's missing because I can see them right along the edge. But it also makes me think, you know, I could actually dot some stuff in there. Maybe in another one. Ooh, that's going to be cool. Do I want to do it again? No. I think that that is going to be great in another one when I think, when I remember to do it. All right. So I hope to see you guys again in another video. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression of Start Studio Gallery, gallery saying um, there's over 600 videos on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of this video. So if you were in the mood to binge, I can help you with that. And uh, people seem to like what I do. And as long as you want to be helpful to me, watch more videos. I love you guys' comments. Thank you so much for making my day every day. It's wonderful. I see those missing gold areas, and I, I need to have them. Let's see if I can fake that into being. I think I can. Send a little choo-choo. <laughs> it's all that came to mind right then. Sorry. Yes, I want my gold there. I want it. I shouldn't want it to be even on both sides, but every once in a while my <laughs> my OCD kicks in. 
And I want a little bit more over here. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Alright. As long as the paint is thick, I can get away with that. I'm being very gentle because the surface has begun to set up. But I like the idea of adding a little more. It might have been better before, but it is what it is now, so we're not going to worry about it. I thought maybe if I kept going, I'd remember what I forgot to tell you guys. But I think I told you most of it. Oh, the Facebook groups are called um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, and that's where you can see the YouTube videos. Artworks, wet and dry. Well, not all of them, but the ones I've put there so far. And uh, there's Expressionist Art Gallery Appreciation. There's two minutes left now. And uh, that's where people go who like to share their artwork, that they learn some stuff from me or they want to be able to ask me questions easily. And uh, I hang out there frequently, so you'll probably get your question answered as soon as I notice that you made one. And if you don't, there's all kinds of ways to private message me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so I said I love you guys, and I think I'm really done this time. This is Priscilla saying see you soon. Bye for now. See you soon. I said that already. Oh, God, I'm getting so redundant. Anyway, I love you, and I can say that twice. Bye for now.